here at the Elk Grove location. Now understand that this happens to be a hotel, but most of the locations that we use happen to be restaurants. We have a, a, actually a couple of really cool hotels. This is one of them, but then we also have the one in Stockton. It's amazing. But anyways, here we are. We're, there's a whole group of people that are here doing one-on-ones prior and after the events. So some restaurants don't allow you to actually meet before because they don't open their doors until 11 o'clock sharp. So people can't really do the one-on-ones until afterwards. So you might have to pick a different location to do your one-on-ones if, if, if you want to meet earlier than 11 or if you don't want to meet on the same day as you have your um, events. So anyways, what I want to do is I just want to give you a chance to hear from someone. Let's, let's walk over here. Um, this is, this is re what's really cool about this. Um, I, I want you... Sharon, I want you to tell them just real briefly why you like doing one-on-ones. I love one-on-ones because I get to know the real person, find out what they're all about, what they love to do, their families, and um, just really where they are, why they love being here, and um, getting to know them a little bit more. And we do a turn around, and then they find out about me. I personally enjoy doing one-on-ones because it allows me to get to know people like Billy and then understand what Billy is doing and his contribution to society. And then with my own skills and ability and with his product, I'm able to go out and help hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people step to the other side of health. Billy is a phenomenal guy. He has a phenomenal product. But the one-on-one -on -one gives me the ability and the platform to get to know you, like you, and then trust you, Billy. That's why I like to do one-on-one, -on -one, Jim. Um, I like doing one-on-ones because I'm getting to know Manju here and getting to know about her business and what her challenges are. And we're sharing ideas about how to become successful together rather than uh, you know, competing against each other. It's a very tough and competitive business environment now, and it's important to get to know people and, and understand what their you know dreams and, and hopes are rather than just pitching your business to them so um, we're just sitting down here and we're just getting to know each other and finding out what she's doing um, she's from Woodland and she's come all the way out here today and we're uh, getting to know I, each other. I just love one-on-ones and I, the, my first time with Juanisha it was so much fun I just really enjoyed it Monisha, uh, tell us what happened. <laughs> where, where did you find out that um, what I was really doing? You know, we got to know each other more. Didn't yeah, we, we did. You know, just get to know Marjorie about her family, and you know, last but not least, our second one-on-one at the end, I finally asked her what did she do, and you know, found out. But it's just a joy just to meet and you know, just to get to know everyone that I've had one-on-ones with. And Marjorie was yeah. great as well. I, I just want to tell you that um, this one-on-one. -on -one is, is a, a great way to go about and getting to know a person and just by sitting down and talking to them, digging deep and sometimes not so deep, just talking to them is great because you get to know the individual as a person and you just take it from there. Take, look at it as looking at somebody across the room at a bar and just sitting down and talking to them and next thing you know you might develop a lifelong relationship. So I, I think it's the greatest thing ever and I, I truly look forward to getting to know more and more people and developing my friendships. I love to do one-on-ones the way I learned to do it at Successful Thinkers because it has taught me how to know, like, and trust people, how to um, learn to uh, accept everybody for who they are, learn about their family, about the things that they love, what their passion is. Uh, it just expands my life to, uh, to gather up so many wonderful personalities and so many uh, wonderful people that, uh, uh, that are like-minded. A lot of people are confused when they hear about what is a one-on-one -on -one and what's the purpose of it. We talk about know, like, and trust. The bottom line is, if you're going to do business, I don't care whether you're a realtor, a web designer, social media expert, you're in a networking industry, whatever it is that you do, in order to do business with somebody you and you want to get referrals, you need to know, people need to know you to trust you enough to want to refer you or do business with you. But with Successful Thinkers, there's five components that come out of it, out of doing one-on-ones. Number one, you might get a client or a customer, depending on the type of industry you're in. You might get somebody that is so excited about your product and service, even if they purchased it, they want to refer it, or if they didn't purchase it, they still want to refer you because they know what you do now. Number three, they might just want to be a partner of yours in the business endeavor that you're a part of. 
Number four, which is really exciting for me, is they might want to become a part of your support team that helps encourage you to keep you motivated to stay true and focused on your goals. And that's amazing when you think about everybody's in business for themselves, but usually by themselves, not in successful thinkers. We got a support team because of our Successful Thinkers Network family. And finally, the accountability partner. You may find somebody you have the synergy with that you want to develop that partnership with that holds you accountable to your daily, weekly, and monthly goals.